This is how to make two different color-changing progress bars using Excel. Let's say you have something like sales and then a rating. The first formula will be the repeat function with the bar key on the backslash key. Follow the formula exactly as shown. The second set, or the other type, will be an almost identical formula, but it will use a zero instead of that bar. Now you've got your two. You need to put this in the playbill font, or else it won't look right. Then center this vertically, and it's looking good. Next, we move on to conditional formatting. You're going to need custom formulas for each of these. What we're going to do here is say that when our values of B3 are less than, in between, or greater than a variety of numbers, we're going to change the colors. You can select the ranges you want to use. For example, use dollar values between 4,000 and 8,000 for the mid-range and turn that yellow. You need to do this for every single step. The last one is going to be the green value, which is when the value is above 8,000. If you forget, just go back into Manage Rules, double-click, and adjust. Test it out, and it's looking great. We're going to do something very similar for the right side. Again, you'll use the same types of formulas, but this time it will be a point value instead of dollars because we are in percentages. Choose the range you wish to use. For instance, use the between function and the word and to set the range. When D3 is between 50%, 0.5, and 70%, 0.7, turn that yellow. Make sure you're applying the font color for these because this is the Playbill font and not a fill. The last one is when D3 is larger than 70%, 0.7, it's going to be green. Now, if you go through and test all your values and formulas, you'll see that everything responds exactly as expected. All done. Like and follow for more tips and tricks.